to the sun so I can't see. Yonder Mountain String Band are set to release their first album in three years, and the self-titled release is profoundly different from anything the band has done in the past. For Yonder Mountain String Band, which hits streets May 9th, the band worked with producer Tom Rothrock, best known for producing Beck, James Blunt, and Elliot Smith. We caught up with bassist Ben Kaufman, mandolinist Jeff Austin, and banjo player Dave Johnston to talk about the band's new release and to talk about the different musical directions the band approach. Profoundly different um, record and experience for us. Um, this was the first time we worked um, A, with a uh, rock producer, let alone someone as um, brilliant as um, Tom Rothrock. And um, secondly, and maybe even more importantly, all working together, um, writing the music in the moment all together. Usually we'd come in with songs already written or stuff we worked up playing live and had been playing live for a year by the time we recorded it on a record. And this, we sat down all together. We, you know, set a tempo, picked a key, and kind of said, all right, and let's just go for it. For the recording of Yonder Mountain String Band, the band took their blend of infectious music and, for the first time, added some drums to the mix. The combination has created a modern folk style with a foundation in bluegrass. This new recording, which is the band's debut on Vanguard Records, features 12 tracks that highlight the band's transition into more rock territories and explores different sounds and ways of songwriting. Look for the band at Wakarusa, Beale Street, New Orleans Jazz Fest, and the Telluride Bluegrass Festival, among a busy summer of touring, which also includes dates with the Dave Matthews Band, the Allman Brothers Band, Bella Fleck, Government Mule, and Blues Traveler. Signs, now I sit alone and try to ease my troubled mind. 